The Los Angeles Lakers select Brandon Ingram from Duke University. This is the guy that is most likely to perform at an all-star level in his first five years in the NBA. This kid wants to be really good. He's not afraid of the work. And when you can put it in the basket and have the potential to defend multiple positions, uh, you're ready to make some noise. High praise for that guy, this guy, on draft night, going number two to the Lakers. Brandon Ingram joining us. Rick Fox, the three-time Laker champion, Jared Greenberg. You're looking good in that shot. What were you wearing last night is the better question for all of us here. What is this, Brandon Ingram? <laughs> I have no idea. Good answer. Good answer. Who picked up I would that? go with, I would go with, who was that? That's not even me. <laughs> <laughs> um, actually, D'Angelo Russell picked it out. Did he? And uh, it's something that uh, they made me do. They picked out the song for me that I had to sing last night. But How do you think you did? Rate, rate yourself. How would you do with singing? Um, I think I did okay. If I would have knew the words, I think I would have did a little bit better. Uh, that would have helped. Uh, your first NBA training camp, your, your thoughts and feelings. Uh, only been three days, but what, what are you thinking right now? Um, feeling comfortable. Good. Uh, a lot of guys out here working very hard, extremely hard, a lot of energy in the building. And uh, we're just getting out there. Um, seeing a lot of guys dive the loose balls, getting out there defensively, and uh, overall the energy is great. What you guys do this summer to kind of get get to know one another? Um, most of the time we just battling on the court. Uh, off the court we just hang with each other, playing games, just talking, joking around with each other. But other than that, it's just basketball and that. The NBA audience is getting a little taste of you in the post there. So much talk about having to, you know, assimilate physically to the NBA game. Yet you just shot. You know three different possessions over the top of people you feel confident that you'll be able to just move throughout the Your game and find your way physically uh, Absolutely, I think with my size people say that I will shot with some contact But I like physicality. I like getting into guys and I know that's how I'm going to get my shots off So um, just shooting over guys and being physical with guys because I have a little bit of strength that people don't know about Yeah, there you go. Well, how, how much of the NBA is, is different from your year in college time playing in high school or AAU ball where you have to pay attention to what you do off the court and eating and weight room and all that stuff. How different is it? Uh, it's very different. You got to take it serious. Uh, you know it's a job now. And um, being healthy, it, it takes you a long way. It helps you have a long career. So uh, off the court, just eating healthy, doing the right things, and, of course, just, just trying to build chemistry with my teammates. From Coach K to Luke Walton, what are you getting? Uh, which, which practices were – more difficult. How you how are you liking what Luke is putting out there for you guys? Um, they're great. Uh, pretty much the same practices. Uh, they have the similar playing styles. The open guy gets the open shot. But no, we're just running. We're running, running us to death. Uh, transition. We're trying to get in the transition. We're trying to get out there defensively. So it's similar. I like Luke. Uh, he's been a great dude on and off the court, and uh, he's pushing everyone. How long before you get to have any say so on the playlist during practice? <laughs> I'll try to put in a few songs, uh, talk to a few guys, but uh, I think I'll try to do it sometime. So. How different is that to have music playing during practice? Oh, uh, it's not different. It's kind of like going back to the workouts. Mm -hmm. But, uh, of course, we didn't do that at Duke, but it, it, it's a good relaxing feeling when you're doing it with, uh, with music. What's your, what's your feeling uh, uh, about the season, heading into the season, things you'd like to accomplish, things you'd like to see this team accomplish? We have a good team. Um, we know leading up is going to be a process. We're going to have to practice every day. We're going to have to work hard each and every day, and we're going to have to pay attention to detail. But um, just leading into the season, I feel really good about it. Everyone's young, but everyone's very driven. And uh, a lot of people can do a lot of different things on the court. A lot of people are versatile. Guys, Big guys can shoot the basketball. We can get to the basket. So it's going to be a very, very exciting. We know you have this quiet confidence about you. What's the balance between wanting to be out there all the time and accepting the role of coming off the bench to start the season. How do you show that you want it, but at the same time accept what Coach Walton's asking you to do? I think it starts in practice. Just working hard in practice, showing what you have in practice, and uh, it'll lead up to the game. Just He knows I'm driven. He knows they did my re their research, re research on everything about me. So just showing it up in practice and uh, just hopefully getting a chance to show it when I get my opportunity. Well, we're going to have you on NBA TV October 7th against another lottery pick in Jamal Murray. How much are you, are you looking forward to getting on the court and playing a real NBA game, albeit preseason here? 
I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's something that I dreamed of. Uh, of course, it's not an actual season game, but uh, I'm ready to get to it. I'm ready to play with these guys and ready to get out there. What did some of your uh, current teammates tell you about last season? What did they tell you to expect? A lot of physicality. Uh, a lot of different guys, but a lot of guys that, that actually like to help. A lot of the veterans giving teaching points. And uh, just knowing that uh, this, this season is going to be a different season. Uh, new coach and uh, new playing style. So what I, li what I see so far, I like. Brandon, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks so much for joining us here. And, and uh, never wear that costume ever again. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon Ingram, Thank thanks you, so much Brandon. for joining us Thank here. You. The number two pick of the draft. NBA TV's coverage of Lakers Real Training Camp. Uh, Rick, and it seems like uh, this guy knows what he's doing here, huh? Well, between those lines, he definitely does. And, and this is my first time talking to him outside of, uh, I think it was Beauty and Essex in Vegas. <laughs> but it's good to see you again. I'm, I'm excited to see your, your career unfold here. Well, Rick, what did you see from practice here today? With this young man? Well, I saw, I saw what everyone is touting. Uh, you know, the comparisons to the excellent players in our game uh, that he has the opportunity to grow, in, to, grow to, um, runs the floor, plays the defense that Luke Walton has, has pointed out. Uh, he's long. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not concerned about his weight. I, mean, I just saw him go to work in the post, saw him uh, take the ball off the dribble on the wing and, and pull up and hit shots. And I think in the competitive atmosphere that Luke is demanding day in and day out in, in, in competition and keeping score and track of everything, he was one of the last guys in the drill. So I think he did fairly well in holding his own. Well, Amanda, 